Good morning. Yes, this is it, a day in the life of me. Just a normal day as I get the train and I wasn't late or out of breath. I went to London, I went to the office to see the people that I work with. There's Adam Lemental. he's very good and an award winner. Here are lots more of my lovely friends and colleagues who all thought I was gonna to struggle to get home back to Norwich tonight. Were they right? We'll find out at the end of this video. I got the tube to Wembley Stadium where it was raining. It always rains when I turn up to cover England. Uh, I arrived at Wembley Park very happy. Here are the half and half scarves. They always do well for internationals. And yes, I can find something yellow and green from a mile away. I am attuned. This is Box Park. That is Wembley, the red zone and into the media entrance, which is sort of underneath the stadium. Uh, there's me looking uh, wet. Uh, welcome to Wembley. That's the media working room. Then into the sort of room where you can eat and work. This is a program where I found James Madison. Good old matters. Uh, now that's Josh and Caitlin, who are students, and they were lovely. This was the team. That is Jude Bellingham, the man I was very excited about seeing play live. I then went back outside because I didn't quite get enough of the rain earlier. There were lots of people still arriving. This is 15 minutes before kickoff. Get a move on, guys. Look at how wet it is, rank. Everyone was very happy and excited, including me. Obviously, this is for content purposes. I love my job. Back inside then, a lovely tunnel here. Must not make glib Stuart Webber joke. And we go into the stadium where the lights were doing fun things. Very fun. And the Belgium fans, they were fun too. Here's Jack Pitt Brook and here's the anthem. <laughs> Yes, the cheer for a disallowed goal. This is my mint tea at half time. Uh, then the paper aeroplane started in the second half. There were lots on the pitch and they all got big cheers. There, one even ended up in the goal. Then the game finished. I watched some replays, looked up and everyone had gone. So I thought I'd better move. So I did move. I moved all the way down this path and then all the way down to the mix zone where back in 2015, I gave myself a celebratory fist pump. If you know, you know. This is the mix zone. It's a universal position of sitting on the floor with your laptop now. Um, and I missed the Belgian head coach giving his press conference. I then tried to grab Gareth, but I was of course worried about getting my train home. It was still raining and I left. So I walked very quickly. I appreciate I haven't covered much of the actual job I did inside the stadium, but that doesn't matter. Go, yes, I'm going. It was um, more than an hour after for the full-time whistle and it was still so busy, but I got back to Liverpool Street in time to make my train. Yes, colleagues, I did it. Uh, that is me checking that the train was going to Norwich. That's me again checking that I'm on the right one. That's me asleep, or am I? I then got a scooter, I then got home, and I did a salute. And that was my day in the life.